Of course, this video is rhetorical in nature because we all know this is happening as we speak, and it has been happening for the last, what, 20 years at least? So Senator Josh Hawley basically sounds the alarm to what everyone knows, but some people are afraid to say or won't admit to it, warns of dark alliance between Democrats and big tech. We've seen it. When the, when the elections come around and when the donations go out, 99% of the time, those, do, those donations from big tech employees and their top brass go to Democrats. Very rarely do they even donate money to Republican causes or even Libertarian causes, if you will. So on this uh, interview with Mark Levin, uh, Holly said uh, the, the potential alliance between big tech and big government, um, dark alliance, and it is. Um, so Levin opened up by saying this. For instance, if you post a comment that disagrees with the White House chief medical advisor, Dr. Fauci, you're likely to get dinged. That's true, because Mama Susan out there will get you. Even if you're an expert from Stanford or an expert from Oxford or an expert from Yale or John Hopkins, if your viewpoint doesn't comport with the government's stated viewpoint out of the federal bureaucracy, you're likely to pay a price. And there, in fact, lies the rub there, boys and girls in Lazo Land. Who's in control of who? Is the government in control of big tech or is big tech in control of the government? Or is it just one biopoly, meaning that there's two entities in control? I think that's probably what it most likely it is. They take marching orders from each other. That's just, that's just it. And interestingly enough, when you sort of push back on these false narratives or dif a difference of opinion, Mama Susan and big tech et al. will ban you get rid of you because you can't disagree with the government even on our platform that recreated for everyone and then we decided to push people out that we didn't like imagine that then you have little parlor that's trying to start up and they all collude which they did and they all together as if they're on the phone call with each other and they cut them off they take them out of the, off their store they take them off their platform it's anti-american 100 percent holly replied this is anti-American, this is anti-free speech, this is anti-First Amendment. And, it may, and and make no mistake, the left is cheering them on. They are. All you have to do is look what they're saying. You hear the Democrats sometimes talk about these companies. They love the power that these companies have. I remember a time when the left hated big companies, big, huge, multinational corporations, and now they're all for them. That's because they're on their side. And matter of fact, honestly, I think they're always on their side. It's just that they're acting jack like a jackass. But now, since those jackasses are the big companies, are the big tech, they sort of act that way. They love it. They love the power over speech that Facebook and Twitter have, and they want them to do more. Exactly. The left wants Facebook to censor more. They want Twitter to censor more. They want Google to censor more. There's also a strong alliance between the left wing in this country and the mega corporations. The left can achieve with these companies that they could never do with government because the First Amendment would actually stand in the way. There you go. That's because big tech doesn't have to comport to the First Amendment. They don't, but I always say they should, but they don't. Their, first, their free speech only operates on the left side of the political spectrum, but if you're on the right side of the political spectrum and you push back, you get, you know what I mean. Uh, because the First Amendment would actually stand in the way. Thank goodness if if it were a government that were explicitly trying to censor us and tell us what we could say. Uh, Holly's new book, Tyranny of Big Tech, will be on stores, in stores soon. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what we're, what we're dealing with right now. Big Tech and their multinational goon squad out there in the ether is controlling what you can and can't say on the platforms they built, like the public park they created, and they say, oh, no, you can't say this. You can't say that. Only these people can say this. Oh, you're, you're going against the government? Oh, we can't have that. Imagine that. Imagine a big corporation out there who is run by a person who hated big corporations back in the late 80s, early 90s. Now that they're part of the big tech, they're part of big corporations, they control the narrative. They don't let any other narrative but their own on their platform. Why is that? Are they so afraid of new ideas and dissenting ideas that they would go out of their way to stop you from challenging the defouch, challenging the government, challenging 
the potato, challenging the real President Harris out there. And dare you say anything negative against any selected or protected group out there that's, you maybe not even, you don't, you probably have no problem with, but you don't like their Marxist tendencies, <clears throat> BLM. So you can't challenge your ideas. You can't go out of your way. You can't, that's the problem here. Big tech and government. Big tech violates the First Amendment because they can. So what does the, the government do? Well, you they can't violate the First Amendment, but they can sure violate your Fourth and Fifth Amendments by skirting around the laws if you dare challenge the narrative. Look what they're doing to Giuliani. That's all you need to know right there. Once, once uh, Orange Man is out, guess what happens? They go after, they really can't go after Orange Man, but they can go after Giuliani. I just think if they can go after Giuliani, big tech and big government, what do you think they could do to you? You're nobody. I'm a nobody. They'll easily, easily delete you off the platform and easily de delete you off the streets into some sort of government run facility. This is the dark alliance between big tech and big government. We're in it right now. So what are you going to do about it? All you can do is go to alternate platforms, keep speaking the truth. Even on YouTube, you can still speak the truth, kind of, until Mama Susan decides what I'm saying right now doesn't fit the government narrative or Google's narrative in the world at large. <laughs> <laughs>